The BASIS dashboard utility is a multifaceted powerhouse that can be used in a variety of different ways. The underlying BBJ code is fully object-oriented, documented extensively via Javadocs, and can be accessed from your application code in several ways. Starting at a high level, you can create a dashboard object and build a full-blown dashboard app that runs alongside your existing application. If you'd rather not have a dashboard running in a separate window, you can embed the entire dashboard into your own application. By way of example, we've created a dashboard demo that runs as a standalone application, both in GUI and in the browser. But the dashboard doesn't have to run in its own window, as we can embed the entire dashboard into a different program. This demo interfaces with the previous dashboard program, takes the resultant dashboard, and embeds it into its own BBJ window. The dashboard is still fully functional, but now the outer application can communicate with the dashboard and its widgets. To illustrate this, we can select color themes from the outer application, which will in turn modify the widgets inside the dashboard by changing their color. When you build a dashboard or embed one in another application, you reap the benefits that the dashboard itself offers, such as category and widget management. Categories display as tabs across the top of the dashboard, each loaded with their own set of widgets. This makes it easy to categorize and provide multiple dashboard widgets without overcrowding the window or overwhelming the user. The dashboard also manages all of the widgets in each category. It will resize and position the widgets automatically in response to resizing the dashboard window or the browser window when running a buoy. You can influence the size of widgets by setting a minimum and maximum width, and you can also set the column and row spacing. This is done on a per category basis and makes it possible to have larger widgets for displaying reports and smaller widgets for displaying data grids. You can also modify the widget size and spacing to target a particular screen resolution when running on a mobile device. Dashboard widgets can be easily organized by dragging a widget via its title bar and dropping it into the desired position. The other widgets on the dashboard rearrange themselves automatically to make room for the newly positioned widget. The position for each widget is also stored in a cookie, so after you arrange the widgets, they will remember their order the next time you run the dashboard. Widgets can also be closed, which temporarily removes them from the view. Clicking on the Customize button shows the full list of available widgets for the current dashboard tab, along with a screenshot and a brief description of each widget. The customization window makes it easy to add a hidden widget back to the dashboard. The visible or hidden state of the widgets is also stored in a cookie, so if you hide a widget, it will be hidden the next time you run the dashboard. We've been viewing everything from the perspective of the dashboard, but the basis dashboard utility offers more than that. Let's switch our point of view and take a look at what the utility offers from the widget perspective. We've seen widgets running inside a dashboard, but they're capable of living a full and productive life outside of a dashboard as well. In fact, you can build a widget from scratch and display it all by itself in its own window, outside of the dashboard ecosystem. Widgets are also perfectly content to integrate themselves into your application. You can build a widget, then embed it inside your own application. Your program is then in complete control over the sizing and placement of any widgets, so you can build the layout of your choosing. The Google Analytics is a good example of a BBJ program that doesn't use a dashboard. Instead, it builds numerous widgets and embeds them into the main window. The program can then build widgets at different sizes, based off of the type of chart and the amount of data that they display. So a widget can live in a dashboard, in its own window, or in any window that you specify. Speaking of widgets, the utility offers several different types of widgets, allowing you to display data in a variety of different formats. Charts are commonly used in dashboards, but you may also display grids, images, web pages, and other HTML content, and even full-featured reports via BB Jasper. Because the utility is object-oriented, dashboard widgets can optionally implement numerous interfaces, so they can be popped out of the dashboard for closer examination, refreshed to show updated information, saved out to an image on the client,
or even emailed as an attachment. Dashboard widgets also support optional filters and links. Filters are displayed as a drop-down list on top of the widget and allow the end user to modify the contents of a widget. A common use case for filters is to modify the underlying data query so that you can select values like this year, last year, etc. to change the reporting range for the widget. Links are located on the bottom of the widget and provide an easy way to open up a web page or to run a BBJ program of your choice. Dashboard widgets that are refreshable can be configured both via code and the user to be automatically refreshed. That way the widget will automatically update itself after the specified time has elapsed. You can configure the refresh interval by providing the desired number of seconds, minutes, or hours that must elapse before the widget refreshes itself. The automatic or manual refresh configuration for the widgets is stored in a cookie. So if you have a particular widget set to refresh itself automatically, it will continue to do so the next time you run the dashboard. The dashboard also offers several other features. For example, the dashboard and the widgets offer dozens of CSS selectors so that you have complete control over the look and feel of your dashboard running in buoy. For example, a dashboard category will have the dashboard category window selector, as well as a selector based off of the name that you gave the category. This way you can style all of the categories and widgets at once or style each one individually with a different appearance. Finally, the dashboard program and the widgets it creates take advantage of high-density retina displays when available. The charts and fonts have been optimized to run at full resolution with more detailed graphics on high-pixel density displays.